Hey YouTube, welcome to today's episode. This is a special one. This is the first time this has happened. This question on the binomial expansion where the power is unknown came from someone called Sam. Shout out to Sam. He requested this and I'm going to answer an exam question for you now. Now if you have any questions like this guys, make sure you subscribe, put them in the comments and also if you want to send me questions as well that you specifically want me to answer, you can do that on Instagram all the links to which are in the description. So let's get right to it. So, so far I have done problems or I have taught you how to do the binomial expansion using Pascal's triangle. Now with that, you need to know the power and the power has to be a positive integer. So one, two, three, four, all these positive numbers. It can't be negative and it can't be a fraction. Now, when n is unknown, it could be fractions, it could be negative, and these are possible. But to utilize that, we need to use the general binomial expansion, the infinite expansion, which is 1 plus nx plus n, n minus 1 over 2 factorial x squared, n, n minus 1, n minus 2 over 3 factorial x cubed. And it keeps going on forever. Maybe you can see the pattern. The next term would have four terms on the top. It'll be n n minus one n minus two n minus three over four factorial x to the four, etc. Now there's only one formula that you need to remember, and that's this one. And you can use it when n is a positive integer. It's just less used. We prefer to use the n choose method. So what does this question say? It says in the series expansion of one plus ax to the power of n. The coefficient of x is 15 and the coefficients of x squared and x cubed are equal. Given that n is not a positive integer, show that a has to be 6. So we are looking at the expansion for 1 plus a x to the power of n. So how does that change? Well, wherever you see x, we're going to replace it with ax, just like when we did it uh, with the uh, choose method. So it'll be 1. Now n is the power, so it'll be n x is now changing to ax and then we have n n minus 1 2 factorial remember 2 factorial just means 2 times 1 i'm just going to say 2 x squared but it's ax squared and we have n n minus 1 n minus 2 3 factorial means 3 times 2 times 1 which is 6 and then we have ax cubed and now we just need to simplify. So we have 1 plus n ax plus n n minus 1. Now here you have a squared x squared. I'm going to write a squared as part of this fraction and then x squared because then we can explicitly see what the coefficients are of each term. Then here we have n n minus 1 n minus 2 a cubed over 6 x cubed. And that's our expansion, and it does keep going on forever, but we're not interested because it says the coefficient of x is 15. So what is the coefficient of x? It's na. So we're going to say na is 15, and it says the coefficients of x squared and x cubed are equal. Well, here's the coefficient of x squared, and here's the coefficient of x cubed. We're just going to equate them. n n minus 1 over 2 equals n n minus 1 n minus 2 over 6. And then don't forget, I forgot it here, the a squared and we have the a cubed. Now the good thing about these two is that we can actually cross things out on both sides. We can divide through by n because n is not 0 here. So n cannot be 0 so we can divide through by n. We can actually divide through by n minus 1 because n cannot be 1. Yeah, it says n is not a positive integer so n can't be 1, we can divide through by that. We can also divide both sides by a squared. So we can divide through by a squared. The squared would go and the cubed just becomes a. So we have a half is n minus 2a divided by 6. So if we times through by 6, I'm going to expand. So we have na minus 2a. Now here you might notice that na is 15. So we can make that substitution. Move the minus 2a over. So a is 6. Now that we know that a is 6, we can go to part b, find the value of n. And we're just going to replace a with 6. So it'll be n times 6 
is 15. So n is 15 over 6. n, divide top and bottom by 3, you get 5 over 2. Now, if you look at the question, it says n is not a positive integer. This is not an integer, so we're all good. So here, it looks like a is 6 and n is 5 over 2. And that's how you answer this type of question where the power is unknown. You have to use the infinite expansion of the generic um, polynomial where the power is unknown. So like I said, guys, if you learn something, please hit that like button and subscribe for more maths content. And you could submit questions that you want me to answer. You just do that in the comment section. Or if you want to take a picture, you can screenshot it, send it to me on Instagram. My Instagram is neildoesmaths. Or if you just want to click through on the description, I have everything in my link tree. So that's it for now, guys. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Peace.